Computer experts are warning that a dangerous new cyber worm that works late at night could cost consumers billions of dollars. Tech Trends reporter Jeff Tate has more. Thanks, Anna. It's spreading like wildfire. The 2 a.m. worm collects personal credit card information, then visits retail sites, usually between the hours of 2 and 5 a.m. The worm leaves no trace of its existence, aside from the occasional wine-colored stains on a user's keyboard, so most people don't realize they've been infected until their credit card statement arrives, showing bizarre charges they have no memory of making. The last thing I remember is going to a bar for my friend's bachelor party. The virus turned on my computer, stole my credit card number, and bought a bunch of Japanese weapons I saw in a movie last week. The 2 a.m. worm makes useless purchases ranging from expensive handbags to vintage Dukes of Hazard action figures. The worm also infects a computer's address book and will send messages to multiple users, often disguised as a sexual advance or a cry for help. This may be how the worm spreads itself. I think the worm sent my phone number out because I keep getting messages from guys that I don't ever remember meeting. The worm sent my boss a picture of someone's balls from my address. Why would it do that? Performing Google searches of certain words after midnight seem to trigger the worm, such as Def Leppard concert ticks, actress that played Ferris Bueller's girlfriend naked pictures, and burritos misspelled with three R's. During our end of term party, the 2 a.m. worm uploaded a bunch of doctored photos of me to Facebook. Computer science professor Greg Reese formed a group of online security experts dedicated to eliminating the worm after he fell victim to it. My point is we need to work fast as the 2 a.m. worm appears to be evolving the ability to simulate human cognitive processes, like using Google Maps to find directions to an S&M club, printing them out, and somehow getting the map into the glove compartment of the user's car. And a new cyber threat may be on the horizon. Reports of a virus that causes computers' Microsoft Word program to generate the first 10 pages of a terrible erotic horror screenplay are pouring in from around the country. For Tech Trends, I'm Jeff Tate. Thanks, Jeff. Experts warn the worm is also wreaking havoc in Europe, but there it strikes as early as 4 p.m. Moving on now, today Congress will debate the cap-and-trade program for dancing-based reality shows.